Morning everybody, enter the stars. And synchronicity is a strange, strange thing. The PPPL was established in 1961. This was the year that Barack Obama was born. This is the PPPL. And as you can see, it is aligned very accurately in a specific direction with this device, whatever it may be. And the entire facility seems to be aligned in this direction. What's on the other end of the alignment of Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory? And thanks to the subscriber who recommended that I take a look at this. Let's take a look at what's on the other end of the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory halfway around the world. And as I tell you, you simply cannot make these things up. You find them and you scratch your head and you wonder what exactly the heck is going on and Obama says I was born in Hawaii I was born in Hawaii and maybe he wasn't lying when he said he was born in Hawaii because this is the Hawaii dormitory in Kenya Africa And this is the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory in the United States of America. And this laboratory, as you can see here, seems to point, seems to point to the home of Barack. Obama. The founder of the project, Lyman Spitzer Jr., was inspired by claims of a controlled nuclear fusion. And in 1950, he conceived of a plasma being confined in a figure eight shaped tube by an externally generated magnetic field. A figure eight shaped tube, an infinity tube. The name Lyman should sound very familiar. Lyman Spitzer was the one who developed the Hubble Space Telescope. In his work at Princeton, he would develop the Stellarator, but then in the year that Barack Obama was born, he would hand that project over to a man by the name of Melvin Gottlieb. Who is Melvin Gottlieb? Melvin Gottlieb is from Chicago. He worked during World War II on with Van Allen on early cosmic ray studies. And from there he got heavily involved with the US government. And he started work on the fusion research at the Princeton Plasma physics laboratory for the federal government. The work was at the time highly classified. When he arrived, Lyman Spitzer's Stellarator was in early development. This was in 19, just before Barack Obama was born. His administrative abilities were quickly recognized in as early as 1958. He was testifying before Congress about the need for adequate funds for fusion research. The declassification of fusion research, which is code word for sweep everything under the rug and make everybody think that it's been declassified, in 1958 brought Gottlieb's work international attention. At the Adams for Peace conference in 1958, remember, all this is about bringing in the new peace world order. 
He became director of the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory in 1961, the year Barack Obama was born, taking over Lyman Spitzer's role there. Fusion research had reached an impasse with its inability to control the high-energy plasma. Now, if Princeton had no fascination or very little references to Kenya, Africa, then we'd call this a day, right? These would just be coincidences, no big deal, but exactly the opposite is true. I did a Google search on Princeton and Kenya, and there are several job listings for government jobs with preferred requirements being Kenyan citizenship. Not one job, but two, three, four, ten government jobs requiring Kenyan citizenship, doctorate degrees, PhDs, and it doesn't stop there. There's actually established studies going on in Kenya. There is a Kenya Office of International Programs, Princeton University. And research going on over there in tropical biology and sustainability. Princeton in Africa. So there is a fascination with Kenya, Africa. Hell's Gate National Park. In this very specific region. And look at this. Study abroad. They even show a map with the very same alignment that we made in this video. Look at this, study abroad and it's got this line going right through Africa to where we pointed to. Remember, they're calling Kenya Africa. Just outside of Hawaii, Africa, Kenya, the birthplace of civilization. This man even is giving a lecture at Princeton University on the tree of life. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Um, what, I'm, what I am going to talk about is this. Um, more recently, we figured out that humans actually came from um, one or more migrations out of Africa relatively recently. Um, the origin of, the, of humans is here. If you think of this as a tree, the picture that's... And he just pointed to where Obama was born in Hawaii, Africa. I'll put a link to this lecture that was from this guy, Guyan Banut, from Rutgers. But he gave it at Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory. And he is a physics professor that specializes in biology. So what does all this mean? That means that there is a lot of stuff that they don't tell us, you guys. And isn't it amazing that this lab changed hands to a man from Chicago in the very year that, that a Barack Obama was born. And it points directly to Hawaii, Kenya, Africa. It was cool, actually. They were designing a supercomputer. If you've seen the movie Jurassic Park, there is a... There is a machine there with blinking lights, and the guy who's programming it is a fat guy who gets eaten up by a velociraptor. <laughs> and and that machine is our was our machine. It's called the connection. <laughs> and they only bought the shell because all they wanted was the blinking lights. <laughs> but uh, that's what I worked for. And there's your reptilian reference, Jurassic Park. This is the Impala Research Center. Princeton University located in Kenya, Africa. And I mean, look at this. The DNA strand going on here. And we had the people from this, the, the, the PhDs from this Princeton Plasma Physics La Laboratory saying in that article that they were looking more for a helical, a helical shape 
of this fusion project instead of the figure eight shape. And this is the torus shape, the helical shape that they began to refocus their efforts on. A helical design rather than a circular form. A helical design rather than a circular form. Now where is the Impala site? This is it right here. Just on the edge of Hell's Gate National Park and just miles away from Hawaii, Kenya, Africa. I mean, look at this. This is where I believe Barack Obama was born, right here.